Hi, biology students. I just wanted to make this quick video to help you with the lab 5.03, primate evolution. So uh, just to draw your attention, when you open up the course, you're going to see that you have this landing page here. Um, each of these um, lessons down here is linked to a separate slide that has videos like this one, how to do the labs, uh, templates, reasons why you're learning about this, and even additional videos to help you understand the concepts a little better. So I just wanted to show you that you can click here to find this video. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the slides of um, primate evolution. So we're in module five. We're looking at 5.03. This is where you submit the lab. This is the slides to actually do the lab. And you're going to want to scroll through these different slides because it has a lot of information about this to help you prepare for the lab. But we're going to go to the end where it shows the actual lab. The first thing you do is click on instructions. You can use this to actually help you. Um, you can print this out and you can use this as you're doing the lab um, and fill it out. So. I also created a template in the additional resources that you can use as well. So it's your choice. This lab is essentially going to be creating a I have to go to the end here. This lab is going to be create uh, you're going to be trying to identify a skull. Um, you're going to be comparing this skull to four other known skulls, and you're going to be trying to identify what it is. So the first thing is going to be your hypotheses. That's the first thing in the lab that you're going to do. And um, so right off the bat, at a first glance, you're going to say, which one does it most closely resemble out of these four? So we don't know which what this is, but we do know what these four are. So which is the closest? That's your hypotheses. Then we're going to start observing these four known skulls and this unknown skull right here. You're essentially gonna be describing what the skulls look like from looking at it at the side. Answering these questions, what the forehead looks like, what the face looks like, what the teeth look like. And you're gonna be filling out that table. There's columns for each of these sections. Then again, same thing, looking at the bottom view. Here's your unknown skull. Here's your known skulls. And then from the top, answering questions again, is it oval shape or more round shaped? And then finally, we're going to be measuring the supraorbital height, which is a little tricky, but I know we'll be able to do it. Um, Essentially, the way to calculate the superorbital height is to measure distance C to B and then distance C to A, and you're going to um, divide B to C by A to C or C to A and C to B, and then multiply by 100. And the way you do that is first you click on your unknown fossil skull, and it gives you a measurement here for B to C, 3.39. And then it gives you your measurement for C to A, which is 6.60. Okay, so that or A to C, whichever order, it's the same thing. And then you go to the next skull and you do the same thing. So pan troglodytes gives you um, B to C here. And then if you hit it again, it gives you A to C here. Okay, and you just go through the lab. You're going to be dividing this number by this number and then multiplying by 100 and you're going to be entering all of that into the lab itself and when you're done you're going to answer all the questions here after you're finished completing this then you answer all these questions and submit good luck